Hi, this is Hybris Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this rather chilly uh, mid-January 2023 day we're doing our first, I think it's our first, maybe our second uh, walk around video uh, for YouTube of the new year and this is on an absolutely beautiful 2021 Eldis Vogue 135. Now this one's just arrived, uh, we went all the way to South Shields for this one, all the way from Devon all the way up to the northeast of England to buy this. Um, so we will literally, uh, if there's a little bit of profit in something, if it's a nice late model bit of stock, we will go anywhere for them. So yeah, this one's just um, just come all the way down. We actually sent a transporter truck for this one, so we didn't put any more miles on it. And it's a one owner from new, uh, just over one year old, or coming up for 18 months uh, or so. Uh, Eldis Vogue 135. So Eldis, they are Britain's second biggest motorhome maker. Eldis and Compass, Majestic, same same make, uh, all owned by Hyman, the German company. They're made in Consit up in the northeast of England. And um, the Vogue range is based on the Accordo. It's what they call a dealer special. So as a dealer, if you order more than 30 or so, you can uh, pick your own name, your own graphics. They're enhanced specs. So you've got basically everything you can think of as standard on these, which was great. So they're enhanced uh, spec dealer special version the oldest accordo 135 or the compass navigator 135 if they did one um so let's have a little look at the window sheet anyway before i keep on waffling on uh, so it's absolutely immaculate this van it's not been washed it doesn't need a quick wash off but it's it's mint it's only really been used for one tour the lovely lady and gentleman who uh, who had it they bought it from spinney up in cheshire it's their dealer special um they used it just to have a little tour around the france while they decided where to buy a house they decided bought a house and sold the van so uh, it's a good buy for someone this it's an eldest vogue 135 21 plate in lounge We've got four seat belts, uh, three berths, 3.3 tonnes, you can drive it on your car licence. Based on the very latest Peugeot Boxer with the very latest Euro 6D emissions compliant 2.2 140 horsepower turbo diesel engine. She's a six speed manual, it's only done about 3,500 miles. And this is a compact van, so it's the same size as these van conversions, exactly the same size 5.99 long, 2.2 wide to the mirror tips. The same dimensions just a little bit taller so 5.99 long 2.2 wide to the mirror tips when they're folded roughly 2.752 pro what five um tall priced at 56.95 now i internet price check our vans and um it stacks up it stacks up really well compared to any other one of similar sort of spec and age i could find for sale uh new one of these today if you could get one which you can't because of the availability shortage but 68 and about to go up to about 73 so saving 10 grand on the equivalent new price today which is what you've got to look at and uh, and it's mint three and a bit thousand miles so have a little walk around the outside so say it's a it's a narrow body van it's the same width as the cab benefits of this over a van conversion it's the same width same length but you're gaining a lot of extra usable space both in height and and width um even though it's no actual bigger so because it's a compact van it's got the stubby little short arm wing mirrors like a van conversion rather than the <laughs> long arm ones from a coach built as you can see there so much much easier getting down the country lanes with these sort of wing mirrors sorry if i made you go dizzy spinning around there so we've got the really nice light gray colored sides we've got smart explorer group alloy wheels underslung gas um, fresh and waste water tanks we've got your fresh water fill up point locked away safely there there, <laughs> that because that toilet locker, double glazed, lightly tinted windows all the way around. And looking at the cab spec while we're on this corner, so we've got full Remis Constantina cab blinds on the side and on the windscreen. We've got a Thatch and Cat One alarm, that's the sensor for it there. 3,707 miles. It's got the 140 horsepower engine, not the base 120. It's got the Eco Pack auto stop start. Leather gear stick and steering wheel. We've got auto um, windscreen wipers as well. Or headlights, one or the other. Auto headlights, sorry. Uh, mirror mounted reversing camera, that's very good. Bluetooth digital DAB stereo system with phone hands free things. Air conditioning, cruise control. Speed limiter, central cup holder, passenger airbag. Uh, lucky windows and mirrors, heated mirrors. Everything you'd expect it to have really. So top top spec on that side of things it's not a mark on this van it's it's 
perfect. I think unless I've missed something. So it's an in lounge van with a front half donette. So you've got a front seating area there with seat belts and an in lounge that you could leave made up as a bed if you want uh, or use it as a lounge. This is a handy storage locker here which gives you access to underneath the rear seats which you need two hands to do. How annoying. <laughs> but it does give you access for storage uh, underneath the rear seats and also if you were to leave it made up as a bed at the back that gives you sort of storage to underneath of it so this is like a, a combi so it could be a fixed bed or a non-fixed bed so it gives you really good adaptability so it's actually quite a clever design you've also got in the back a two bike bike rack if you're not going to use that obviously you can put your chairs and stuff on it but if you're not going to use it for anything just unclips you can take it off basically you can open your rear window again but if you are going to use it, you've still got an opening big skylight and two opening windows in the lounge. Main hookup is underneath of there, so you've got main hookup, uh, leisure battery and a very large solar panel. Also up on the roof you've got the TV aerial and you've got the rear high level adjustable um, uh, reversing camera. It is quite late in the day, do excuse my, uh, my blusterings. Fridge vent for your three-way fridge freezer. We've got a full-length Dometic wind-out canopy and an LED awning light. And then we've also got a gas barbecue point here, which is hooked up to whatever gas you've got in your gas locker in there. That little vent up there is the vent for the factory-fitted microwave. You've also got colour-coded door handles, colour-coded bumpers. It's a great-looking van. So coming straight into it, we've got a door bin. We've got a fly screen door. We've got a table here, which can clip on in the rear lounge, as we'll see when we go in. And the ambience of this van is lovely. It is a light, modern, comfortable place to be. It's got really nice, I don't know what color you call that. It's that color. It's like a taupey, not gray, not brown, somewhere in the middle sort of taupe color scheme. I'm not sure, but it's, it's very neutral, very comfortable, very high quality. You've got a panoramic skylight. We've got this nice light wood finish with uh, accents, which is smart. You've got the two-tone curved cabinet work, which looks really good with up lighters. Then you've got a front little dinette here. So you've got two traveling seats, storage underneath, and, uh, and a swing out uh, table there, which is great. Both your cab seats swivel round, they've got storage pockets to beneath and they're all nicely matching upholstered as well, which is very, very smart. If I sit and have a look down the van, it's a really nice place to be this. It's in mint condition, it's a lovely, lovely van. It was well worth us going to, uh, going to get it. Now as you come in the door, You've got a nice, simple control panel. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that um, I like a simple control panel because what else do you need? So we've got a master on off switch, simples. Water pump on off switch, you can leave on all the time when you're camping. Inside lights, handy because you can switch all your lights on and off as you uh, go in and out. And an outside light switch for your awning light. And then just a gauge for your leisure battery and a gauge for your fresh water tank. Don't need anything else. Underneath of that are your heater and your water heater control. So this runs off of gas or mains electric or both at the same time. Now it's a whale system. Whale are a Northern Irish company who um, have taken on the giants at our Truma um, uh, doing motorhome accessories and heating and things like that. So the plus side of the whale system is it runs off gas and mains electric just like the Truma boiler does. It's blown air heating just like the Truma boiler is but the heater itself uh, whereas normally the Truma one would be under there, the whale one's bolted under the floor, so it's under the floor. So uh, the heating's still through these ducts, but it doesn't take up any internal space, so that means you've gained a big extra space. So this is all storage underneath of there. Wardrobe, you can put the fridge there, you've got room for wheel arches, so it's, it is uh, an advantageous system and it's gaining a lot of popularity. Now looking at the kitchen here, really good kitchen. Remember this is only 6 metres, it's 5.99 and it's narrow body but it doesn't feel it. So we've got a really good kitchen, a nice big pull out drawer with your clip on draining board there. Very deep sink, one very very light scratch on there, that's the only sign of use. Two main sockets and two USBs there for charging which is handy. And then we've got high level microwave, it's not that high but it is a high up microwave. Uh, three gas burners in a good size hob and one mains electric which is immaculate. Remember this van has just come in, yeah? we've not cleaned this um, and it is really really good. Uh, the grill pan is still, still in its plastic, the tap is immaculate, it's a fantastic thing this, real credit to its previous owners. And you've got an oven, a little combi oven and grill. So if you compare this to the Swiss Select 144 van conversion, 
which is exactly the same size uh, you've gained so much storage space so much kitchen space and these are built out of insulation as well so uh so they're much much warmer than a van well they're warmer than a van conversion so uh, so yeah many plus size to the compact coach built fridge it's only a little fridge it do same fridge i have in my camper van actually so been around forever these dometic three-way fridges are nice and reliable the one in my camper van is virtually identical it's the older version of this and it's 21 years old and still works really well so you've got mains electric if you're hooked up for that gas when you're not hooked up and the engine while you're driving top of that i got a little wardrobe with hanging space now this here that's a front mattress topper so this unit swivel your driver's seat this pulls out and it makes a small bed so one meter fifty something like that put your feet on the passenger seat and then that mattress topper covers some of the bumps it is a little bit lumpy bumpy but it's better than not having a bed and that's how i see it so we've got big hecky roof light at the front and also because it's a dealer special big hecky roof light in the back and a midi hecky roof light in the middle fantastic now the end lounge, it's a nice comfortable place to be. Obviously in a six metre van, you're not going to get six foot sofas to the rear and the front dinette. If you want six foot sofas to the rear for single beds, uh, then the 120, the Accordo or the Compass Navigator 120 is the van for you. Um, but then you lose the forward facing seat, in seat bolted seats at the front. Uh, so this incredibly easily pulls together to make a, uh, a double bed. So literally these are on ball bearing runners, no effort at all, lift slide, Job done, 30 seconds, there's your bed. Those front cushions there for making the front into a bed. If you're not going to do that, you can, uh, you can leave them at home. Loads of storage. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, storage cupboards. Three full-size opening windows and a very large roof light. Just flood this area with light. And remember, if you want to leave this as a bed, uh, you can do. And you've got that big storage locker back there to load underneath of it. So it's very, very clever. Um, nice scatter cushions. Again, you've got all these sort of little spotlights which are directional at the back, which I can't find the button to turn on. There it is. Blind to fly screens, as you'd expect, on all the windows. Uh, they've even left the little cello TV at the back there. We don't check or guarantee TVs or audio visual equipment, but still got a plastic on it. That's never been turned on. Um, fantastic. So that comes with it as well. And yeah, so bathroom's the only other thing. Now it's a narrow body van. Oh, I like that. Little things like that. So mains plug socket down there, right next to the big mirror. So for the lady or the gentleman who's uh, uh, blow drying their hair, if you're on the mains before you go out, you can stand there. You've got somewhere to plug your hair dryer in. That's a nice idea. Final bits, the bathroom, narrow body van. You're not going to get a separate shower in a van of this size, but it's a nice bathroom. You've got a separate cassette toilet there. Fashionable little freestanding basin. The shower hose is separate from the sink tap, which I prefer. You've got this eco uh, water saving shower head, full size mirror, little um, skylight up there for ventilation, and, um, and a two door cupboard vanity unit with a shower curtain there that's never been used just to cover everything up, stop it getting wet. Most of the time you probably won't use that, but it's there if you do. So that's it, really. This is our eldest. Vogue 135 2021 is beyond immaculate. It's got every extra you could wish for already on it. This is us, Highbridge Motorhomes Devon branch. You saw the road probably behind us before or heard it at least. So that's the A38 South Devon Expressway. That runs from Exeter to Plymouth. It's basically at the end of the M5. You couldn't find an easier place to get to because it's right next to us and we, our slip road comes straight off of it. So give us a call, 01626 If we're out here videoing, either leave us a message, we will get back to you. Sometimes it can take a few hours or ring us direct on 07432 662558. Uh, you can check us out at the hybridcaravans.co.uk website. This one's, depending when you see it, might not even be on it yet. It will sell quick. Uh, or come and visit us, Highbridge Motorhomes, Ting Grace, Newton Abbott, Devon. We've got a branch in Somerset as well. You can pick up from there if you're further up north and ask us about this wonderful Eldest Vogue 135 at 56995. Thank you very much. Goodbye.